Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther. Today we're gonna check it out the special effect in Photoshop and Illustrator. This is pretty old school technique already. I never used it. And uh, today I just test it out. So we're gonna see what's going on. Also, if you wanna check out how to make these designs and support the channel, you can join the YouTube members only page and select secret content to watch more premium videos where you can learn advanced methods in order to become a successful designer. So this is the website of the plugin. It's on Vector Slate. It's called Vector Line Distortion Fact in Adobe Illustrator. You can basically download it here, script download from here. It's gonna open up in a script file. I'm gonna show you real quick how to install it. Okay, so we got Adobe Illustrator. You go to Program Files, Adobe, Adobe Illustrator, Presets, and US Scripts, and you copy paste the line distort. So this is the line distort that you're gonna copy paste into Illustrator. Then you got like for Photoshop. Program file, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop, preset scripts, and you're gonna copy paste the line distort image processor, which is this one. And also make sure to exit Photoshop and Illustrator in order to install these scripts. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is select the type tool, click and type in something. I'm gonna go with the letter S, scale it up, press and hold shift plus alt. And I'm gonna go with enter bold. I'm gonna right click, create outline. I'm gonna press Control C. I'm gonna to go to Photoshop and I'm gonna copy paste it here. Control V. I'm gonna go with Smart Object. Click OK and I'm gonna double click. And also make sure that the file size is a little bit smaller because this plugin is gonna take forever until it's gonna render it. So the smaller the file, the better, you know, the, the faster it's gonna get the job done. So I'm gonna go in this case and width 1000 and height 1000. Click OK. Now I'm gonna to go to Filter, Blur and apply Gaussian Blur. I'm gonna go with um, some around 20, click OK. And from here, I'm gonna go to File, Scripts, and I'm gonna select Line Distorter Image Processor. Click. And here also, if you're gonna increase the numbers, it's gonna add a lot of lines. Like you can see in these examples, the right one is done with 20 by 20 and the left one is done with uh, 10 by 10. And also, if you're gonna increase it to 20, because I did it before, it's gonna take up an hour, you know, until it's gonna render it. So I'm gonna go this time with 10 by 10, click OK. And as you can see, it starts processing, you know, pixel by pixel, it's kind of slow. So take your time and come back later when it's finished. So finally it's done, it took 22 minutes to complete it. Great. So after this, you click OK, open Illustrator document and run a line distorter script there. Great, click OK. We're gonna jump into Illustrator back. I'm gonna delete the letter S, go to File, Script, click on Align Distorter. I'm gonna go with Height 07, Angle 110, click OK. And it's gonna pop up a window now, Simplify Windows with Open, I'm gonna click OK. And this one won't take that long. It's gonna appear the Simplify option, click on Convert to Straight Lines, and here it should be on one. Click OK. Okay, so let's zoom out, and here it is. This is how it looks. You can also separate the stroke lines and you can also increase the weight of the stroke lines. And this is it. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can notify with daily updates and also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye.